In this bonus video, we're going to speak about PS App Deployment Toolkit and how to use that in Intune. If you're already aware about PS App Deployment Toolkit and used it before, but not in Intune, you can fast forward to video 29. But if you haven't used PS App Deployment Toolkit so much, you're in for a treat. It's a very cool wrapper around your scripts where you can get interaction from the end user and more information. We're going to look a lot at that. And the PS and PS App Deployment Toolkit stands for PowerShell, but you don't need to know any PowerShell to be using this. So let's go to the web page and read a bit more about it and also download it. So I'm starting a web browser and to search for PS App Deployment Toolkit, it's already there. And the URL is PS App Deployment Toolkit. I'm going to put the URL in the description of this video, but very easy to find. So let's go there. So here's how it looks. It has a banner, which you can customize, and we're going to do that. And you can also change the icon. So if we look at the screenshots here, so when it starts, you get a banner where it says that it's uh, in progress. And even before it's starting, you also can get a lot of information. For example, if you want to install an um, Outlook plugin and you can't install it while Outlook is started, PS App Deployment Toolkit can look if uh, Outlook.exe is started. And if it is started, it sends this pop-up and asks the user to close Outlook. Or you can also have the user to defer if they don't want to install by closing Outlook at this moment, they can defer it as many times as you specify. So it's very customizable and very great tool. So let's start to download this by clicking here on the download. And it's very small, it's less than two megabytes. So let's click here and have it downloading. And it's updating frequently pretty frequently. Now it was a while. I'm recording this is October and it was updated in uh, January. It's totally free, but please uh, consider to donate to this um, project. It's a great project. And client's requirements, they are very low. All your clients probably already apply for this. It has to be Windows XP or later, and XP is already out of uh, support, and it requires PowerShell 2 or later, and all uh, modern OS. If you're running Windows 10 or Windows 7, which also out of support, you're already good. You don't have to install anything for your clients for this to work. Okay, we got the zip file. So in the next video, we're going to look what this zip file is made up. Well done. Thank you very much.